When it comes to building sales funnels, WP Funnels is the best tool for this in WordPress. Now, let me show you the updates they've done in WP Funnels 3.0. This is going to be amazing. So over here, I've already gone ahead and installed it. And by the way, this is a beta version. So all I have to do is to come over here to Funnels. Now for this, I'm going to create a brand new funnel. So I'm gonna come over here to add a new funnel. I'm gonna build this from scratch, or I can also use all these uh, templates over here. In fact, you know what? Why don't we use these templates? It makes things easier. So if I click here on import, now while this is happening over here, we have different categories. We have beauty, business. I like the fact that they've added these colors to these icons and it's also very, very easy to find. This just makes the whole interface look really clean and really, really nice. Now for this, I'm using Divi, but you can use Gutenberg and you can also use other page builders out there like Elementor as well. So right away, we go into this canvas. So everything is done here in the canvas. But what I really like here is they've updated these arrows that connect uh, all these steps. Now I know that doesn't mean much, but for me, it's a big deal because I really wanted these to be perfect. And as you can see here, it is very, very easy to see how things are connecting. All right, so now what are the changes? So right away, I can tell you that we don't have the navigation that we had here on the top. Everything now is here on the bottom. So let's start off by going over here to our settings. So if I click here, this is where you go in and add your title for this particular step. So this could be just a landing page. So let's just call this uh, funnel landing page like that. Click on update and then we can just close out of here. Okay, cool. Now let's move on to the next icon and this is the pencil icon. Now, if you wanna make some edits to this actual page, this is where you'll click over here and this opens up in a new tab. Now, if I need to start making any changes, this is uh, the DV theme builder. So I can just go in and make my changes by going in here. Okay, so let's move on to the next icon. Now, this one here is just for us to take a quick preview of what the steps look like. Looks like. So if I click here, it opens again in a new tab and that, that just shows me the design of the actual page itself. And here it is. So I could scroll down here and pretty much all my content is there. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Now this I really like because this is where we get to do our split testing or AB testing. So the situation here is, let's say you're trying to test and see which page converts better than the other. This is where you would cl uh, click here on this plus button and you can duplicate it. And then this gives you the exact copy of this one. So what you do now is you wanna come into this one here by clicking on this gear icon, make some changes to this, and then you can click on start to see which one performs better. So on one of them, you may have a long, a long sales page. On the other one, you may have a sales video. Pretty much it's up to you how you wanna do it. But the cool thing is you can now click here on start. Now this will show you all your stats and over here is where you can state your traffic distribution. Now usually you wanna do this at 50-50. So I'd say 50 here and 50 here, click on save and then close out of here. Now the cool thing is I can also see my stats over here. This will tell me my revenue, my conversion rate, uh, and obviously based on which one has performed better, I can just declare the winner by just clicking over here and just say declare a winner. And that's pretty cool. Now, if you wanna go back to the main funnel, you can just click over here. And now I'm back over here. Click one more time and now we are out of the A-B testing. But uh, for you to see if there's A-B testing, this is where you'd see it over here. Now, another thing that also is really cool here is when you click on this little icon, this now gives us our logic. So this will give us our, if something happens here, then do this, you know? So let me show you what I mean. So here we're going to say if order bomb is accepted and then there's an or here and else. So I'm just gonna keep things very, very simple here. I'm gonna enable the condition like that. Click on save. So here we have different options. We have, uh, an opt-in, so if you're just opting in, we can decide what you need to do after someone has opted in. So in this case here, we have order bump, but of course you can add multiple ones as well. So you can click here and choose after purchasing a product or something, and then that gives us the option. But what I really like here is, if you take a look, let's just close out of here. If you take a look here, this is the true one, and this is the false. So let's say you want to add uh, another step here. You can just click on this plus button. So let's say this one here is an upsell. Now check this out. The upsells here are very easy to find. Here it is. So I could just choose perhaps maybe this one here, click on import. Now this is import, uh, importing my upsell step. So now we have it over here. 
And then finally, we can have our thank you here just by uh, clicking over here and then adding our thank you, which is right here. So again, I'm gonna click on import. Now, what's really cool here is you can actually go in and add even more steps. So over here, we have our upsell. So I can say, okay, another condition. And this time I can also make uh, even more uh, conditions. So if I am gonna say if up, uh, upsell is accepted, then so I'm gonna enable this and then click on save. Now, depending on how many products you have on your system, you can continue all this and just keep adding even more and more products here to really make this funnel work. So you can see here, we have a um, mini logic here for this upsell. So if this happens, we can take them to the thank you page or you can also go to a downsell again. So if I click on this plus button here, we can choose our downsell, which is right here. So we can sell them a cheaper product. I'm gonna click on import to import my template. And there we go. And then finally, I can have my thank you here. So we can have a sophisticated funnel system throughout this whole uh, canvas. And once you're happy with all of that, check this out. I can also see my stats. So if I click here on stats, I can visually see what is happening. And again, I need to emphasize on this. The UI here is really, really beautiful. It's very, very easy to follow. There is no complicated steps where you have to go in and uh, make all these crazy uh, changes. Everything is right here. Very, very easy to see. So you can see all your stats, your conversions, and you can obviously go in and make some tweaks to all your pages or your page design if you need. Okay, so that's the stats. Now we also have more options here. If I click on these three little dots here, we have analytics. So this will show us pretty much everything. Now, how your funnel system has been uh, performing and we can also choose by date range. So this hasn't really changed. It's pretty much the same. Now I know this is a beta version, but I can see that it's missing a few things like um, MailMint because over here we're supposed to be able to add uh, options here when someone signs in or buys a product, we need to be able to go in and send them an email, a reminder, a coupon code, or whatever it is. So that option here, I'm not seeing it unless I am probably missing something. But so far, I really looked closely and I couldn't find that. Okay, here we also have integration. So if I come over here, we can connect a CRM. So let's say you're using um, Fluent CRM, we can connect it here. Now over here is where we have our main settings. So again, if I click here, I like the way it just flies out so that I can just go in and make my changes here. So if you're doing any pixel tracking, this is where you'd go in and add your Facebook pixel. And this one here is um, our Google tracking and so on.